Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be on this all matte cut crease that I paired with this fun, bold spring lip. I was really feeling this look and so were you guys, so we're just going to jump right on into it. To prime my lids, I'm taking my Maybelline Fit Me concealer in the shade Sand. Um, I really do need to invest in an actual like eye primer, so let me know what your guys' favorites are. And then to set the concealer, I am actually just using the first shade in my Morphe 12NB palette. It's just like a neutral, um, shadow just to really help give me a smooth canvas so now i am taking the first shadow in the last row of the palette which is just like a medium brown this actually reminds me of benefit hula and i'm just dusting that right into my crease with a fluffy brush mainly focusing the color on the outer corner and then blending whatever else is left inwards and the palette didn't really have a color that i wanted to really cut my crease with so i just picked up saddle from the Lorac mega pro 2 and i'm using a lip brush and i'm just going to Go really lightly, take my time here. I'm really just mapping out where I want the cut crease to go and I'm actually applying this color a little above my crease, not directly in there, only because my eyes are a little hooded. So if I were to open them, you guys wouldn't really be able to see the cut crease, which kind of defeats the whole purpose. So that's what's going on there. And now I'm just taking a small shader brush and I'm actually just flicking, I was gonna say flickering, flicking that color up into that crease color that we had applied previously just to add a great effect to this look. And then I'm just going to blend, blend, blend. I feel like the key with cut creases is to really blend and then go back in and pack on the color, blend, pack, blend, pack. It's just a process of going back and forth. So as you guys can see, I blended out that line almost completely. So I'm gonna go back in and pack on some more color in there. Like I told you guys, it's a process of going back and forth of blending and packing. So here I am just defining the crease even more with the same color and the same um, lip brush, obviously. And I'm just going to blend it out with the same lip brush. And then I'm actually going to take a break from cutting the crease and I'm going to clean it up by taking some concealer and just applying that all over the lid, right up into that crease. I'm going to blend out the concealer with another lip brush to really help get in there and really help clean up that crease. And this is just going to help really define that crease even more and make it look even sharper, you know, for that really good cut crease, you know what I mean? And then I'm just going to set it with the first shade like I did the very first time around. And then for the lid color, I'm actually using this color. Um, it's like a melon shade to be honest, but since it is so light, I'm going to pack it on, literally pack, pack, pack. I'm packing this on so much just to really um, give the color payoff that I want. After that, I just go back into my crease and define it once again because I did lose some of that color while I was adding the lid color. So I'm just cutting the crease and making it even more sharp. And then I'm going to blend it out with the crease color that we had applied previously. And then I do switch between brushes just to really help give me a flawless cut crease right there. And then I do go back in and add some more lid color. And then I did add my liner off camera. So I'm just cleaning everything up with a makeup wipe. And then I'm going to be adding some mascara. That's the, this, that's the two face better than sex i am so obsessed with this mascara oh my goodness i did my whole entire face routine off camera so moving on into blush this is the nyx powder blush in dusty rose i just felt like this blush went so perfect with the look so i am obsessed with that and i'm just blending everything out you guys know we cannot have any harsh lines for my lower lash line i am taking saddle which is the color we cut our crease with and i'm just applying that to my lower lash line packing it on and blending it out and then i am applying some smashbox x rated um, to my lower lash line onto my favorite part so i'm taking bubbly and dripping in gold from the anastasia beverly hills glow kit in that glow on my morphe m501 and let me tell you guys my goodness you guys know i live for the glow this palette is what i am living for yes you guys oh my goodness the glow is honestly just out of this world and i'm actually really excited i was able to put this in my giveaway because you guys need this in your life so for the fun bold spring lip i decided to take the lip land cosmetics lippy in the shade brooklyn this was actually in collaboration with Ombrezzi. i'm sure you all have seen it but i'm seriously in love with the lippy i don't know i just fell in love with this bright highlighted lip i don't know but that is it for today's video i really hope you guys enjoyed it thank you so 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 much for all the amazing feedback you guys were giving me on it um this is my very first time really liking a cut crease so it makes me happy that you guys liked it don't forget to give the video a thumbs up please subscribe and i will see you guys in my next one bye guys